My name is Ben Meaches. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in, political, in politics, philosophy, and public affairs. Sorry, we have a lot of acronyms here. Um, and my partner in crime, Sarah Hampson, unfortunately can't be with us today. Um, but we've been working on the construction of street law and urban debate programming here at UW Tacoma um, and have been supported by the SIF grant, which has been incredibly helpful to us. Um, so before I go into what our actual programming is and our plans for UW Tacoma, I want to talk a minute about the problem that inspired us to think about this in the first place, which I'm not sure if you followed the news recently, but political culture, conversation, analysis of research, facts, the ability to speak cogently about public policy have been called into question, to put it mildly, perhaps. And uh, we believe that one way of combating that is to enrich the ability of students and the community to have thriving, politically contestable conversations about law and public policy. And both of us had actually tried um, through other means to support those kind of efforts. I created a class that was actually explicitly focused on argumentation. Um, Sarah tried to support a mock trial team that was uh, run through student services last year. And neither of us felt that those were met with a tremendous amount of success. So this is an attempt to uh, develop a new kind of proposal that would fulfill that function. So, what actually are street law and urban debate? Um, street law is actually an existing curriculum that's supported by a nonprofit organization that's actually pioneered and directed primarily at law schools. And the way the curriculum works is it trains law students to go into usually high schools and community colleges to assist students to discover about the law, to learn about legal education, to learn what the pathway to law school might look like, to understand how to negotiate the law, uh, and to think about things like basic rights and freedoms. And part of the value of the curriculum is it's actually designed to have all of the students become future teachers. Um, and it's never, to our knowledge, been used at the level of uh, undergraduate education. So we're actually going to be kind of trailblazing with this in terms of seeing if our students can go out and become successful entrepreneurs with legal norms, ideas, and legal education. In contrast, um, urban debate is a proposal that's been around for about two or three decades. It's not one specific form of debate. It's actually an attempt to make debate as an activity uh, far more accessible. So if you think about debate, um, you're traditionally talking about folks sitting on a stage like this, talking about serious matters of government and policy with time limits um, and specific kind of issues that are national in, in scope and focus. Um, urban debate attempts to break away from that, to use different models of argumentation, to think about issues that affect people personally, um, and to make debate community driven, and it's had phenomenal uh, success. Um, and our basic proposal is to try to integrate these into UW Tacoma. Um, why? What are the benefits? Well, one is the simple fact that civic education is incredibly important, and it produces what we call portable skills. Those are skills that can go to a variety of different careers, legal ends, advocacy, and are also important in an academic context. Um, there's actually been studies done that have demonstrated that of uh, any single indicator that you can find for students that improve their academic achievement at a high school level, participation in debate and legal activities is number one. Uh, and there's also evidence that undergraduates who participate in debate-related activities do a similar amount of learning in terms of their outcomes to a PhD student in a year of doctoral research. So it has a substantial effect in terms of people's understanding of the world. It's also great for community engagement. There are any of a number of examples now um, in places like Chicago, Baltimore, Philadelphia, where these kinds of forums at a local level have produced significant civic activism and challenged uh, a lot of the, the kind of commonplaces we have about how people become politically active in the first place. Um, so we think those are all benefits that we have. So what, what are the issues? What are we trying to accomplish? Well, we, we actually think of this as uh, what we've been calling the founding dilemma, which has kind of two parts. One, we're a commuter campus, which means it's harder to get people into a room to talk with one another and develop the kind of robust culture of conversation that we want. And two, we're a new campus. So unlike a place like UW Seattle, where there's a communication studies program that could house a debate program or a law school that could support street law, we don't have that. And so we're inventing on the fly to some extent. And we've kind of come up with a three-part solution to try to fix and work through this problem. Um, one of that involves uh, developing new kind of coursework to enable students to learn these skills and to practice them. Another involves creating a co-curricular space and materials to support our students. And finally, partnering with community members um, that can help us to be accountable and also provide us with resources that we don't have. So 
this is kind of where we're at right now. Um, we've actually made outreach to the organizations that are on this list, as well as a number of others. Um, we've sat down with teachers in English and social studies at Lincoln High School and have discussed a variety of ways of integrating their students into street law and debate initiatives on our campus and to send our students as ambassadors to support their programming um, in a variety of different disciplines there. Um, we actually kind of piloted that last year at a smaller scale to great success. Uh, it was one of the first time that some of those Lincoln students had ever been to a college environment and they actually got to participate in argumentation with our students and it was incredibly fun and exciting and they wanted to sign up and do it again. Um, in a couple of other instances, there are simply opportunities to argue and engage with other students that we don't currently have. I literally received an email at 302 as an open invitation to any UW Tacoma student that wanted to participate on March 17th in a debate uh, with students from PLU. So there's a lot of energy from this, we just don't have the students yet. And that's where the other components of this come together. We designed a series of two credit courses that emphasize street law and urban debate that are supposed to be open and practice centered. So when a student comes into the class, the goal is not to give them a textbook, but to rather to train them in a, a series of easily usable skills to help them design that and talk about the topics that they care about and want to have contestation and arguments about, and then to use that as the source of energy and inspiration to teach research skills and to get people talking. Because above anything else, the capacity to start speaking on your own and have somebody provide you reinforcement and feedback is how you get excited about that. And that's interrelated with the last element, which is the piece we've been working on. We've been in communication with uh, Paul Prosev and some other members of campus to try to get a physical space because the largest impediment is getting a culture of students who want to do this and who are interested in talking with one another. And part of what we think is we need to have some spot on campus where people could have a home that we're ultimately building towards. I think that's it. So could you talk a little bit more about the two credit course? Um, like what level is it? Like could we So they're, they're both 200 level classes. 200. Um, and at, at present we've debated two different models for them. One is to integrate them to some extent into a certificate or major program so that you could get some credit for it. And the other one is to just simply leave it open. We think that the seminar and interdisciplinary uh, arts or sciences, I don't remember what it is, it's a 300, 305 TIS class, is full all of the time. Um, and that that's a great opportunity for us to try to bring students in with a, a low level of class time and credits that get them over the limit where they want financial aid to then get them excited about this idea and to see if we can pluck away, maybe not 20 students that are interested in this, but a few at a time who then um, can take this class, take multiple classes in this, this vein, and really get excited about debate and form the core that we then think can go out and advocate with others. That's kind of the, the snowball effect that we're hoping these courses have. Yeah. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, one of the things I, I saw at a recent conference that we were at on sustainability is that uh, Portland State created a civic engagement minor. Uh, which I thought this would fit into really nicely as a way to kind of tie this together with some other content that would get students in, interested from across lots of different majors. A lot of times students are shopping around for, you know, minors that will fit in, and I feel like this could be a really important part of something like that. I, I like the way that you framed it, but I think that could be one way to kind of build on that and make it something bigger for stu more students to get involved. Like I said in response to the previous question, so one of the other pathways we've talked about is could this be a, a, some type of accredited, if not degree related certif certificate or something along those lines. And um, we've had more difficulty navigating that for next year or for the immediate future, but it's definitely something we would think about. Um, it's part of a pathway that we'd love if we get the student body that's interested in it, but otherwise it seems like a lot of curricular planning and development and requests for changes that may not go anywhere. So we kind of want to, build and match what we have, if that makes sense. Hi, Ben. So really great work. Um, just quick question about the physical space and your hopes and dreams. What were you looking at getting as far as physical space for this work? Building, swimming pool, you know, like... <laughs> Ping pong tables. Those kinds, yeah, exactly. Um, I, I think that a, a space, uh, even using an existing space uh, that 
is a, a room during certain hours of, the, of the, the week that students could meet and talk about these issues with some you know, occasional, as they wanted, faculty support would be a great start. So we've, we've contemplated like the Research Commons before as a potential place to meet. We've talked to a couple of the other centers on campus. Um, but I think that's the, the kind of level that you, you start out at. Um, it's just using an existing space and setting aside time and seeing if people come up and, and want to talk about these things and being there.